Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing some new unusual discoveries from within planet Earth. And when I say within, I really mean within. Because turns out, something else really exciting was always hiding on the inside, extremely close to the core of the planet, basically surrounding the entire core. And in this case, the scientists behind this recent study believe it represents some kind of an extremely ancient ocean floor. The ocean floor that used to exist on planet Earth billions and billions of years ago and contained some really intriguing features, including huge mountains several times as big as Mount Everest. With all of these features potentially visible in these new observations. And so in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about how exactly this was discovered, what was discovered, what all of these concepts are based on and what they're called, and what they mean for our understanding of planet Earth. And if you've been watching this channel long enough, you probably know that this is not the first unusual discovery coming from within the planet. So many new unusual features have been discovered inside planet Earth in just the last few years. And some other structures that were known to exist for a long time because of new detailed observations have now been definitively proven to exist, allowing the scientists to actually now explain a lot of properties on the planet that we observe over time. And one of these unusual properties or anomalies that's sort of been bugging scientists for several years now is a peculiar structure today referred to as the South Atlantic Magnetic Anomaly. It's basically an area around South America that seems to contain much lower magnetic field compared to the rest of the planet, and it seems to be a result of something happening very close to the core of the planet. Specifically, one of the structures that seems to be affecting the magnetic field and basically results in a kind of a magnetic hole. And though it's not really something that affects us on the surface of the planet, it's definitely something that affects satellites passing right above this anomaly, which is why most of the studies to date have been usually done by NASA scientists. Some of the links in the description directly from NASA explain this a little bit more. A lot of these effects are potentially caused by what's known as large low shear velocity provinces, illustrated right here, which some scientists believe may be remnants of ancient planet. Specifically, the ancient planet referred to as Theia, believed to have been responsible for the production of the moon. And so the remnants of this planet basically ended up inside Earth and are now producing all sorts of effects on the surface. But that's just one unusual discovery from the last few years. The scientists have also identified what seems to be an additional core inside the inner core, suggesting that there are at least five different structures inside the planet. This is actually one of the more recent discoveries, and even today the scientists are not entirely certain what this actually means for the planet. But this innermost inner core definitely contains its own properties and also seems to be made out of something entirely different. You can find more details in some of the videos in the description. But in the last few years, the scientists have been also finding something else. Some other unusual structures right above the core, but below the mantle of the planet. Most detected through various very detailed observations using seismic waves, and essentially discovered when an earthquake passing through some of these areas end up producing additional waves, or end up reducing the speed of the waves by as much as 40%. And because of this, these unusual areas are now referred to as ultra-low velocity zones, ULVZ. And the thing is, these were discovered quite a few times by different researchers, but it wasn't really clear what these mean. With separate studies identifying at least two very large areas only visible in certain regions. For example, we have the Hawaiian ULVZ, an ultra-low velocity zone located right above Hawaii, that seems to be the largest such object mapped to date, at least 1000 kilometers across and approximately 20 kilometers in height. With the second largest being the Samoan ULVZ, approximately 800 by 250 kilometers in size and 10 to 15 kilometers in height, with the seismic waves passing through this region reducing in velocity by approximately 45%, implying that this is something extremely dense inside planet Earth, something really compressed and something enriched in a lot of different dense elements. But it's really because of these extremely recent, very detailed observations that the scientists were able to potentially work out what this is. By using 15 different monitoring stations located in Antarctica and mapping this over 3 years by listening to seismic waves, they were able to produce an extremely accurate observation of the three-dimensional shape of these unusual features, realizing that they seem to resemble mountains and also producing a much more accurate two-dimensional map of where all of these features are located. Here you can actually see both LLVPs, large low velocity provinces, which are believed to be the result of the Theia collision, and ULVZs, which seem to be very different. And the conclusion so far is that these are two separate anomalies, based on two completely different physical phenomena. 
Since the velocity inside ULVCs is much lower than anything else, it really suggests that this is an extremely thick and very dense material. And because the thickness of this material is much lower than anything else, from only a few kilometers to maximum a few tens of kilometers, with the average shape kind of resembling a mountain, this was of course the first hint. Maybe these were ancient mountains. And by then comparing this to locations around the planet, it sort of became a little bit more obvious how all of this was produced. All of this was highly correlated with various subduction zones on the planet, where we have a lot of interaction between various oceanic plates and continental plates. And as these plates push the rock down into the Earth's interior, they basically create these very very large island-like structures that because of their high density end up sinking deeper and deeper, following the circulation of mantle all the way down to the surface of the outer core, and eventually get deposited right above the core, intriguingly creating a completely different surface deep inside the planet. Which sort of implies that the ancient oceanic crust and all of these ancient mountains are sort of wrapped around the entire core almost like the second surface. Which I'm sure might excite a lot of fans of stories like Jules Verne's Journey to the Center of the Earth or proponents of the Hollow Earth, except that it's not really hollow and nothing would be able to survive in these conditions. We're talking about thousands of degrees Celsius and extremely, extremely pressurized environment. So don't expect another world inside planet Earth. But the existence of an actual ancient seafloor with what seems to be ancient mountains, some of them up to 40 kilometers in height, for anyone studying geology and especially geology of ancient planet Earth, is already super super exciting. And there are so many reasons for this. First of all, obviously, it allows the scientists to finally figure out what ancient Earth might have looked like, especially when it comes to the interaction of ancient oceans with the ancient crust. It also to some extent allows us to study ancient geology of the planet by potentially investigating what sort of mountains existed here, but more importantly, it might even provide evidence for the existence of ancient life, or what sort of life existed here. There's another video on the channel that you can find in the description that talks about this hypothesis of basically how life, specifically primitive bacterial life, is directly correlated with the existence of large mountain ranges on planet Earth. In other words, some of the larger mountains on the planet might have potentially been a result of various life-based activities on the surface of the planet. And so the existence of these structures and the ability to study these structures using modern technology might actually help the scientists solve quite a lot of intriguing things about ancient planet Earth. Although I guess just the fact that the core of the planet seems to be covered by an ancient seafloor is already pretty cool as well. Although here we still have to remember that this is still a hypothesis. As the authors mentioned in the paper, there could still be other explanations or other options. But no matter what this is, it's going to help a lot of geologists figure out how the heat exchange inside the planet seems to work and how all of this then results in various observations we see on the surface, including strange magnetic anomalies or even various gravitational anomalies that up until recently could not really be explained. And so basically as a result of these recent very detailed observations, in just the last few years, the scientists were able to learn so much about planet Earth. But I'm sure we'll learn even more once the scientists collect even more seismic data and are able to see even more features inside the planet. And so until these future discoveries, thank you for watching, subscribe, check out some of the previous videos in the description below, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.